Right now I'm letting you live. And I'll continue to keep you alive until you've grown enough to become worth killing. All right, guys, this time Viz Media and I have partnered up to bring you Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter. Hope you like it. Now let's get started. I'm starting off by blocking out my eyebrows. I'm using prosthetic adhesive and going against the hairs. Then I'm taking a tiny metal comb to comb through my eyebrow, making sure they're going in the direction of the growth. If you're using a little comb, immediately clean the glue out after so you don't regret it later. Once the glue has gone clear, which means it's dried, you can go in with a clean spatula and flatten down the hairs of your eyebrows. Then, set the glue with some translucent powder on a powder puff, and make sure to really press down with a powder puff so it's as flat as possible. Then, remove the excess with a fluffy brush. While the glue is still wet, you can use a wet finger to smooth it out. You can also use a clean spatula to help smooth out the edges. Go ahead and repeat the process as many times as you need to. Once your brows are sufficiently covered, go ahead and apply a really pale full coverage foundation all over your face. And be sure to set it with some powder. His skin is really light, so you can go with a really light powder for some extra coverage or just use translucent. Now for the part that makes or breaks this look. It's the contouring. I'm using an eyeshadow for this so that it can be a very specific color. You never want to contour with a bronzer or something that has an orange undertone. You want an ashy brown that has no red or orange undertones to it. And because his face is super angular, I contoured my cheekbones slightly higher than what I usually would. And you also want to bring that contour line down towards your chin. Use a smaller fluffy brush for more precise contouring around the nose. His nose is super thin and pointy, so contouring it is really important. Set the foundation on your eyelids with a really light matte eyeshadow. Once your eye area is set, you can contour your eye socket. You want to contour basically where your eyebrow used to be, and bring that contour all the way up to your temples. Contouring a little V-shape under the apples of your cheeks really helps to give it that angular look and it also helps you look more like a dude if you're a girl. Now I'm taking a matte white eyeshadow for some highlights. I'm just highlighting all the high points of my face. And I also forgot to contour under my bottom lip. Now I'm taking that contour color on an angled brush and extending the shape of my mouth. Then with an even tinier angled brush and a dark red gel liner, I'm drawing in the eyebrows. Okay, now these eyebrows are really crazy and really hard to get right. I started by lightly sketching them in and you can see they're totally uneven. But you can balance them out as you thicken them. Guys, look at my new phone case. Okay, so the best way to see if they're even is by taking a selfie because your eyes get used to looking at them in the mirror. So taking a picture and seeing them the right way around helps to see if they're even or not. Just try to keep them pretty thin and pretty pointy. Once that nightmare's done, get a black eyeliner to line your eyes. You'll want to extend your inner and outer corners. So think of this as a really elongated and really elegant cat eye. You don't want the line to be thick because he is a guy after all. You just want to make your eyes look slimmer and sharper. Now I'm using some face paint for the shapes on his face. The colors change depending on what reference you're using, but I'm using a light blue for the teardrop. Then I'm using a light pink for the star. You can map out the star by connecting the edges, that makes it easier to draw it in. Then fill it in to make it easier to see if it's lopsided. Mine was a little bit, but nothing that a little tweaking can't fix. The color of the star wasn't quite right, so I used a more magenta gel liner over the face paint. I just prefer to go in with the face paint first, because it's easier to draw out shapes with a face paint than it is with a gel liner. Now for my lips, I'm using a liquid to matte lipstick that's a very cool toned brown. It's almost the same color as the eyeshadow I used to contour my face. I'm using it on a small brush and I'm defining the edges and creating a new shape to my upper lip. I'm also applying it just to the outer corners of my bottom lip. I'm trying to create a gradient where it will be lighter in the center. So for that, I'm taking a concealer and applying it to the center of my bottom lip. I'm blending both colors together using the brush. 
and slightly applying it to the center of my top lip too. I lightened the outer corners a little too much so I went back in with a lipstick. Now I'm taking a black liquid liner and creating a very fine line to extend my upper lip. To make this lip look slightly more realistic, I'm taking a dark brown gel liner and I'm shading the inside of it and the outer corners. I'm using this to help blend out the black line I drew. I also very lightly brought it down to the corners of my bottom lip. Since the face is pretty much done, I'm applying some white grease paint to my neck and my ears. You can also use the normal foundation if you prefer. Then I'm taking the white grease paint on a very small brush to do some highlights. I'm cleaning up the edges around my lips and defining my cupid's bow. Because he is a male character, you want to keep your highlights pretty matte. No highlighter in this look. I'm also taking it on my chin, my nose, and under the new set of eyebrows. You'll see this just really helps to give the face a lot more dimension. Then I took a very pale yellow concealer and applied it to the center of my bottom lip. Once everything was done, I thought the contours could be intensified, so I went in with a small brush and did that. I just darkened and defined them a bit more. Then I took a really, really, really tiny pencil brush and defined the new crease even more, always blending it out with a fluffy brush. Now he doesn't really need mascara, but it's nice to define your lashes at least a little bit, concentrating it on the outer lashes. Now all you need is your deck of cards and you're done. I hope you liked this video. The base of his makeup can definitely be used for cosplaying other characters, so hopefully this was helpful. And if you want to watch Hunter x Hunter, Season 2 comes out on Blu-ray on February 28th, but you can pre-order it over at viz.com, so go check it out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Ah, no! <laughs> <laughs> no, that does not work. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really weird thing to do because he's just like dropping cards and going like ha 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 ha.